little bit of a different scenario if you're putting a college practice right. for the first time in how long? Right. Well, I don't know if there's actually ever been a collegiate practice run at the Olympic Training Center. So maybe there has, but it's a rarity. Well, interesting tie-in. We've got the first-year program, Wayland Baptist in Texas. Uh, head coach Johnny Cobb, a guy you know pretty well. Why is that? Well, Coach Johnny Cobb was my high school wrestling coach, and now he's the head coach at Wayland Baptist University in Plainview, Texas. Well, right down the road from Amarillo, where you're from, what's it like for you to know that there's now college wrestling back in the uh, Lone Star State? Well, I'm extremely excited. That's why I wanted to bring him in today as they're on their way up to the Northern Colorado Open, just because uh, we've been wanting wrestling in Texas for the last 25 years, and it has not happened. So now, fortunately, we have a club, not only a club, but a team, a college team that has the sport. And men's so, and women's wrestling. Men's and women's wrestling. And so I'm going to do, do my best to try to pour into that program so it can become successful. So as far as coming through, uh, you know, Coach Cobb contact you and say, how, how, hey, can we come in? Yeah, Coach Cobb just said, hey, you know, Slay, we're wrestling at the Northern Colorado Open, we're coming through Colorado Springs. Could we just come in and look at the place? He just wanted to take a tour. And I said, well, better yet, let's come in and run a full collegiate practice and uh, hopefully help these guys out. With Wayland Baptist coach Johnny Cobb, you've come in, brought your team on the way to the old Chicago, Northern Colorado Open, and right now you've got your guys doing some hip heist training next to some resident athletes, some NCAA champions and college All-Americans. Do you ever think that when this program was started that this type of scenario would actually happen? Oh yeah, I had a lot of confidence in getting this done, <laughs> just in the fact that since Brandon Slay wrestled for me in high school, I knew it had a little in on that deal, but just for him to take the time and help coach my kids and work with us, he's always giving back like that to any and everybody. And he's got a little Texas in him, you know, where he would like to see us be successful there at Wayland with the first and only college program in the state of Texas. So. You got double duty with the men and the women, but you had a couple dual meets. Uh, against Oklahoma City and another new program, Wachita Baptist, and got a couple individual victories there. But what's the growing process been at Wayland since they announced the program? You're the head coach, and everybody on your roster, except for maybe one kid, is, is from Texas. Yeah, and they're nearly all freshmen. Nearly every single one. I mean, we have a few that are not. I think that's our biggest thing at this point, you know, is to get them a year's worth of experience. I mean, and also, I brought a lot in that I knew were going to be good, but yet I knew they were ineligible, and I was going to bring them along, get grades in order, get motivation behind us. So right now, you know, we had 38 kids come in on the men and 20 on the women, but I haven't ever had all the ones I need on board to actually compete yet. Next semester, it's going to be a little better, and next year, we hope to really start being competitive. It's been a process. You were kind of behind the movement to try to start a program at West Texas A&M, and that didn't quite work out. And then uh, how, how did you actually land at Wayland? Well, you know, I went down to WT the first time, one of the first times, was right after Slay won the medal. Well, he and I went down there, a well thought up, well rounded, great program that we presented to WT. I went down there every year since then. That's been over 10 years. They just dropped the ball and said that, you know, say they're going to, and yes, they are, no, they're not. And Wayne and I, for whatever reason, said, hey, we'll do it. And I said, ma'am, you're on. Let's go get it done. So as far as the, the type of kids you got in the room and, and this trip up here to the college open, I mean, a lot of these guys might not have even considered wrestling in college before Waylon had a team. And what's it been like for you as a, as a then retired high school coach, now getting back into the coaching ranks and kind of running these guys through, uh, okay, here's what's going to happen for a yeah. lot of first timers that didn't see their career going past the uh, 12th grade. Well, actually, I think a vast majority of them did have a college dream. We just made it available to them. And uh, they might not have gone on had we not established a program, but I think every single one of them, of course, had in their mind that they would like to be in a college wrestling program, given the opportunity. We just simply were able to give a bunch of them the opportunity that may not have had it otherwise. And I've got a great assistant coach in there that's fired up, you know. So me, the old retired kind of guy, you know, I still got some <laughs> fire in the furnace. But, you know, I've got a great assistant in there helping me out and a GA, and we even look to maybe bring another GA or two in next year. It's a developing program, and I'm trying to be patient this year. Well, when it comes to what Slay put through the workout, it was just some, some very basic things, working on bottom work and 
you've worked on your guys uh, with that alongside the Olympic Training Center here. Uh, are there any things that uh, you saw from Slay and the way he explained those moves that you're like, wait a minute, I remember teaching him something like that. Well, sort of yes and no, of course. He, I'm just glad I had a small part of Slay's development in high school, you know, and, and even in the kids' program. But boy, he's had such great coaches since he left high school, and he's just a product of so many good people. But I was quite familiar with his stand-up and hadn't had an opportunity to really get into it and refresh my memory about all the little intricacies of that stand-up. It looks so simple when he does it, but there's there's quite a bit there to it. Don't think that my guys aren't going to drill the crap out of that. <laughs>